Hello, this is Chris Jackson from ActionQA.com. Today we're going to talk about Nightwatch's pause method. And uh, I was using this a certain way, you pause for a certain number of milliseconds, but I found out a really cool way of actually using pause to debug tests and dig further into a page. So I'm going to cover that in this quick tutorial. So you notice when we run this that it ha everything happens too fast and you can't even see what happened on the page. So what we've already been doing previously is adding this browser dot pause right here. And then we put some milliseconds right here. I always go two times, whoops, two times 1000 milliseconds. And I always do this just because it's easier for me to read like, oh, there's two seconds here. I don't know why it's my quirk, but you could easily just write. 2000 for two seconds. I just like the little separation right there. That's just me, my quirk. So if we do this, it's going to wait for two seconds or 2000 milliseconds. Let's just go and run that really quick. It's going to go to the web page and then it's going to wait two seconds and then it's done. Let's head back here. So we've already covered that previously. Here is the cool thing about using the pause button or the pause method. I always want to say the pause button, pause method, that if you delete everything here and do nothing, it's going to just pause forever indefinitely. It's not going to do anything. Nothing else will run after this. So let's run this, clear out the screen, and let me show you what I mean. So now we're going to go to Google, and nothing. It's just going to wait there forever. In the background, here's the test. Nothing. So if you want to kill this to get out of things, you have to go over here and hit Control-C. And I think it's the same on both Mac and on Windows. Control-C. And yeah, terminate that batch job. So why would you want to do this? Actually, a really good reason is to either debug your app or to explore the page more. Because usually not only are you going to go to the web page, you're going to click on things, you're going to keep going through different URLs, and you end up on pages that your company's developing that you're not familiar what the CSS is there yet. And you'll probably want to stop and see what you need to do next when you're developing your tests. So the browser.pause lets you stop for a second and see what's going on. So as an example, let's just run this again of how I would use this in the real world. Say I'm at Google. I want to look at this home page. I would probably, now that I know it's just going to be hanging there forever because I added that browser.pause with nothing in it. I can maximize it, uh, open up the dev tools, and then I can start poking around this page. You know, looking at the sign in button and all of that good stuff. So like I was developing a test, I'm like, oh, what do I want to do next with this test? I can go click on the sign in or e Gmail images, any of these things. Then go over here and we'll kill the test. So it just gives you a chance to explore the page or debug something if you're in a, you don't know what's going wrong with your test and you need to debug things. So uh, I just learned this recently and I can see this is super valuable and I'm going to be using this a lot in my testing at work. So remember, browser.pause with nothing in it. Thank you for watching. I am Chris Jackson from actionqa.com. Please subscribe. Like, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, thank you for watching.